What is up my BA family and welcome to the year 2024. This year we got a lot of exciting stuff lined up for you guys and I can't think of a better time to really start getting into the nitty gritty and pushing everything to the max. So in 2024 we have a challenge where we are going to attempt to catch a thousand fish this year and actually if you look right here on the screen now I'm going to show you we actually made a book for it um, to track and if you guys want to follow along with how many fish you're catching feel more than welcome to order that off of Amazon uh, but we're going to be doing it just to see where we're at and we're really excited about it guys so that starts today we're going to count every fish we catch no matter the species now today in light of that I'm going to be showing you guys one of the rigs that I use a lot I've never really seen anyone rig uh, rig a pole up this way but for me, it's just, I don't like having to retie and I like having multiple functions. And right now with spawn coming upon us, bedding fish being a huge deal, you have the drop shot and you have the Texas rig, you have the Carolina rig. Well, when they're hard to catch, what I like doing is like a modified lightweight Carolina rig. But what I like about it is it also convert into a Texas rig and it kind of mixes in the free rig in there as well. Oh, oh. So what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, whatever Texas rig hooks that you like. I use a 4 rod EWG by owner, um, but you can use a worm hook, whatever you feel most comfortable with. You're going to need a quarter ounce weight. Like I said, this is a very light technique. It's for a very natural presentation. So this isn't like a, a regular Carolina rig where it's like three quarter ounce, half ounce, one ounce not that kind of thing it is just a different presentation all right and then uh they sell these at walmart this is a bobber stopper it is a tie on bobber stopper not like your traditional ones and it comes with these beads i say these are the best for this technique um you can use those traditional style bobber stoppers however just what i use this for and i'll show you here in a second it's just better to have these because they don't cause abrasion on the line or anything like that and they get, do a good job being able to slide up and down so let's go ahead and get into tying this let's talk about line right quick so like i said this is a very light natural presentation good for clear water um, where like a drop shot would use so you really want to go with the lightest line possible i like using 15 weighted fluorocarbon this is sunline but the first thing you're gonna do is put your quarter ounce weight. That's what I use. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these beads from these tie-ons. You're gonna take one of these little beads and then you're gonna put that on there. This is to make sure that the weight with the, the hole that's in the weight doesn't go over the tie-on, all right? And it actually kind of fits right there in the back of the weight, like a little, like just perfectly. This will also help protect your knots. Now you're gonna take on your little tie-on, slide that on, take the little thing out, go ahead and cinch that down, cut those. Now we'll go ahead and slide that out of the way for now so we can get our hook on. Next, we're gonna take our hook. I tie a pinston knot, but you can use whatever knot you feel comfortable with. I just think pinston knots, I don't ever break off at the knot when I use these. Um, so that's why I like it. Now I like using my scissors for a weight just to make it a little bit easier to tie. Get organized here right quick. Swing it around there. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be that kind of day. All right, let me put my uh, janky scissors back together. <laughs> Bass Pro scissors, or are those Berkley's? No, these are the Bass Pros. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna cut off our three tag ends with uh, this knot. All right, and then we're gonna, I like using a ribbon tail for this technique. Uh, this is a 10 inch, uh, well, this is actually one of our ribbon tails. Uh, to me, these are just uh, perfect for like your Carolina rig or anything like that, um, or a Texas rig. And like I said, this is kind of a, a morph in between those two rigs. So go ahead and tech expose it. Now, like I said, I like having multiple ways. So of course you have your lightweight Carolina rig, right? So you could just do that. And it has a little bit of freeness to it as this can slide up and down, right? But you have your little Carolina rig, you can adjust your leader however long you want it. Or like I said, if you're just going for a Texas rig, slide it all the way down for a horizontal presentation Texas rig. So, like I said, it's a very easy rig. I absolutely love this rig because like I said, when the fish get tough, having a very light natural presentation um, can really help you get those extra bites. We're gonna be doing a lot of drop shotting. And of course, I'm gonna be using my modified Carolina rig. Like I said, anywhere there's current, this just does a great job, natural presentation in the current, and you get a lot of bites. So let's get to fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah.